So like I've seen this trailer before. Like I watched it live when it was airing. So it's not this is not like a reaction video, but it's more so that um you know this trailer has been sitting in my mind for a few days. I've time to think about the character rather than like initial trick reaction. So let's Peggy start 16. with the trailer first of all. Now like obviously like a lot of people are expecting a returning character. Was it Ogre? Was it Jun? Was it Roger? Was it possibly a guest character from Yakuza? So I think a lot of people are kind of upset about this trailer. But don't expect a new character. Especially a new female character. So we got some images of Poland. Now I've been to Poland myself a few to, a few times. So it's such a beautiful country. So let's talk about what we just saw. Now obviously that's a very short teaser trailer. Now I was initially upset because you know like that's that was nothing right like compared to the other reveals on the round table this was like very lackluster but when it, when you come to it right um what else could they do right they don't have anything lined up as in like they can't just show off a new character fully if it's not ready yet for example so they had to give us something or nothing that's the kind of thing i came to um peace with because if they showed nothing at the round table i think the backlash would have been a lot worse right so they had to show something, but I just think they could show it a little bit more, like literally, right, we, we, we see images of Poland. So maybe people who recognized these pictures will say, oh, this character's from Poland right off the bat. And then obviously it's obvious here, like she speaks in Polish. And then she says, I will miss one for people from Poland. Like, okay, that's confirmed, a Polish character. And from what I know, Poland is actually one of the oldest Tekken scenes that I know. Like, I know they have players dating back to, like, Tekken 3 and Tag 1 days. So there's a very, very old scene with a player base full of really loyal Tekken fans. So I'm very happy that they have a Polish character. Now, I have a few questions, though. Like, like the car. Like, why Why is the car there? Where did it come from? Did it get, heli did it get like, jetted in or something? But let's... Okay, so... This is all we can really see of the character. Like, so obviously, she's like a politician. Um, you know, she's not a businessy kind of woman, like a high femme kind of. I'm gonna assume like a femme fatale kind of character, just from the purely on looks and the voice actress alone. That the voice is amazing. I think the voice acting is top notch. I, I absolutely adore the voice, and I adore the fact it's a Polish character. The Polish prime minister is just kind of random. But I can get with her, right? I can get with it. So yeah, so let's have a look, closer look at her. So so we're seeing now a lot of people making comparisons to Nina and Julia's lab coat costume. Seems like a blend of them, especially Nina's hair. So it to some people might look like a, a character you could create in customization mode, right? But obviously we need to see her talk more because I think she could be very unique. Like she's a character that could be a middle-aged character, like an actual middle-aged character in Tekken, middle-aged woman that is in Tekken. Like, I noticed the Williams, but they're frozen or whatever, blah, blah, blah. They make, they replace the old Cooney and June and Michelle aren't in this game. So this could be a potentially Tekken 7's first actual looking old character, old woman. Now, one thing I'll look at is... Okay, so... She appears to have a scar on her face. Now, if this is a scar or is a lock of hair, we don't know. But it does look like a scar, right? And she has, like, the lipstick. She's an open shirt. Like, a very businessy, but also kind of like... Uh, like, a, like a femme fatale, in, as well as a politician in a single character. But I really appreciate the fact that it's, you know, she's not working behind the get behind the desk. You know, she's on the field. She's fighting herself. I think it's a really cool touch. So, yeah, I'm actually really looking forward to this character. Um, I hope we... I'm going to play her day one. You know, I'm going to grind sessions with her. I'm going to grind her in ranks. I hope she has a cool style. Maybe something from Polish uh, fighting style or a famous Polish... Uh, martial artist using a certain style maybe we can see that reflected in this character so yeah I hope like it it's a bit generic -y. I won't I won't lie but I'm sure we have a trailer coming up in the next few weeks to see this character more in flesh up now I know her name because it was leaked 
I don't know if it's real. I won't say in the video. I won't spoil it for people. But um, yeah, I I hope this is her intro because it's kind of cool. I really like this intro. And it's really, really badass. And like she just comes in towards the camera. I must win for the people of Poland, obviously in Polish. So yeah, I I mean I'm a fan. It's just it was just the build up was bad because a lot of people are expecting oh well I, I'm guilty right. I was expecting June, but I'm okay with her in second age. I can settle for her in second age. So I think a lot of people are expecting a returning character or a big guest character. They weren't expecting a new original female character. So I guess, like I said, we just have to wait and see how she develops as as in the coming trailer. So yeah, you know, watch watch my stream on the day that she comes out. I will be absolutely fully invested into her. You know, she's another waifu for the collection. I'm all up for it. Like now that I've time to settle and think about the character and what she potentially could be. You know, okay, it's not a returning character. This is this is a this is what we have. Let's deal with it, right? And I kind of hope that she's broken. You know, because it's a bit time. You know, like we have like really like strong new female on top. Like we have, we've dealt with Leroy and Frockerman. If we're gonna keep releasing over tunes DLC characters, sure, make a waifu, right? So yeah, that's this this that's it for the video. Check my stream and you know subscribe and all that and. Let me know what you think of this new character. Do you like her? Do you dislike her? Who did you want to come back? Let me know. And thank you.